Hey y'all doing? It's Trucker Taylor here again with another video. Um, these are my thoughts on uh, leasing versus financing a truck. And uh, I don't know, man. Like leasing, it's not a good deal to me, man. Like, I, like I, I just don't feel lease. I, I just, I just think you get ripped off. Cause um, the company is trying to make some money off you also when you lease so you got to factor that in so they basically gonna charge the hell out of you like they gonna overcharge the hell out of you for that truck and then you got a balloon payment at the end of your lease which is like i, I like i think that's bullshit like first of all if your lease is up you do a you do like a um lease to purchase type deal once your lease is up you should that should be it the truck should be paid off like why you gotta pay a balloon payment it's like they basically making all this money off because they they basically gonna charge you about six to seven hundred dollars a week, easily. You know, what I'm saying it's like this. That's like the average for a lease. Like they're gonna, they're gonna charge the hell out of you, and then you still gotta take care of the maintenance, and then you also gonna have to work like a dog. Like it's 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 not like you basically own your own truck so now. So now you can just lay back. You know, and, and you know, instead of taking just two days off, you can take four days off. No, nah, no, nah, you, you you basically got that, you got that high ass truck note under your belt now. So now, you still gotta work the same schedule, even though you own the truck now. Like fuck that. Like <laughs> my goal is to not work as hard and still make good money. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm basically trying to get to the point where my truck note is not that high. Like so, I basically ain't gotta work that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I can take. I can take at least three days off a week or four days off a week. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, like in the future, you know, once I, once I know the system, once I understand the system, go straight local. Be a local owner operator. You know what I mean? Be home every day, but still bringing home, like, you know, three grand a week, three or four grand a week. You know, being a local owner operator. I mean, I've I seen people do it. You don't necessarily got to drive thousands and thousands of miles a week in order to bring a decent paycheck. You know what I mean? They got some local routes. That's paying good, you know what I mean? If you make $800 a day, that's fucking good as a local route. I mean, that's good to me. You can less fuel and you're home every day. You know what I mean? That's the plan. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't know. The lease is like a... I don't know. I just, I just don't believe in it. I just think they're just trying to rob you for all the money that you have. And then you still got to work the same schedule. Like, you got to work five days a week. Same shit, you know. But now, if you try to take a day off, you know, for something, you... You missing money, so now it's pressure now because you got that truck note under your belt now. I mean, they they, they might say you making more money now, yay! But you still, it's it, it's 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 like you still getting paid as a company driver technically, unless, unless you get some bomb ass loads that's paying like top dollar and shit. Yeah, but if you if you're not getting no top paying load, you basically getting paid as a company driver because you still got to take care of the maintenance, the fuel, all that. You know that expensive ass truck note like. All that shit got going to play, you know what I'm saying? So, I just think a lease is not a good deal. Like, I don't know. I just think it's a scam. Like, it's a ripoff. Like, but if you want to finance a truck, I think finance a truck is more profitable. Because if you finance a truck, let's say your truck note, it's like 1100 1300 a month or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to pay versus paying 700 a week. You know what I'm saying? That's twenty eight hundred dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's double. That's double. And then and then, and then you got you got some older trucks that's not even let's say they basically like eight hundred dollars a month or nine hundred a month. You know what I'm saying? Under a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So financing truck is where it's at. Like once you're done with like let's say it takes like three to four years, like you finance for three to four years. Once that four years is up, that truck is paid off. No balloon payment. You know what I'm saying? It's paid off. That's yours. You know what I'm saying? And then you basically got the freedom, because the truck note not that high. You have the freedom to take more days off. And then and then it's no forced dispatch. You know, you, you can just you can work when you want to work. As long as you take care of your bills, who cares? You know what I mean? It don't matter. As long as your bills are taken care of and you comfortable at, at the house, you know what I mean? Like you straight, you got money in the savings, you straight. Like you, you basically got money in your maintenance account. Your truck knows covered. That's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? But I think a lease is like, I don't know, it's a ripoff to me. I don't know, I just don't. Unless unless, unless you get a lease that's like, that's like a two-year, three-year lease with no balloon payment. 
you know, and, and, and the payments can't be that high. It can't be ridiculous. It can't be $600 a week and shit. Hell no. Like, if it's like 300 or something like that, three or 400 okay, that's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like 700 800 six, nah, that's that's ridiculous, bro. Like, that's ridiculous. If it's like 300 ain't bad. 300 a week ain't bad. It's like 1200 a month. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with that. But, um... I don't know. Do not get ripped off of these companies, boy. With these leases, like it's it sound good to to have your own truck. You know, what I mean, you feel like a boss, but you really you, you you don't own the truck yet. You know, what I'm saying you leasing it. It's a lease truck until it's paid off. Until and basically until you pay that balloon payment at, at the end of the lease, which is gonna be like fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand, how much it is. You know, and then the the lease might be three years. So basically, went uh, basically until you finish that three year lease. And you pay that balloon payment. The truck is not yours. And then, but I mean, but it's, it, it is a um the the good thing about a lease. I mean, you can turn the truck back in if you feel as though it's like you basically it's making you broke. Like you know, when it comes down to it, like it's, it's too much for you. You can just turn the truck back in. Cause mostly, mostly leases are walk just just walk away leases. You know what I'm saying? You can just turn the truck back in. No, no issues. The truck is like you turn it back in, and you basically ain't got to worry about no payments again. And that basically give you a company truck again, and you know, and change change you in the system as a instead of a lease lease um owner operator, you you'll basically be a company man again. You know what I'm saying? So mostly leases are walk away. You can walk away. They're walk away leases. So, but I don't know, man. I just think there's other ways you can go about it. You know, what I mean, I think financing is the way to go. It's cheaper, and once that, once that, um, four, three or four years is up, that's your truck. There's no balloon payment, and you're done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, and then, and then like the maintenance, the maintenance plans for these leases, man. Like they basically say that this is covered, that is covered. But if you read the fine print, it it only covers uh, normal wear and tear. You know what I'm saying? So if if they if they say hey this is not normal wear and tear, but it is. You ain't do nothing to it, but it, they, 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 they'll still try to, you know, challenge you on that. They'll try to challenge you on it. Be like, hey, um, this is not normal wear and tear. And you're like, yes, it is. I didn't do nothing. Nothing happened. This is normal wear and tear. It's not, you know, and they're going to try to challenge you. And it's going to be a pain in the butt to get, to get that part fixed without you paying something for it. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they're basically going to try to get their own, like, as much money out of you as possible. So, I don't know, man. No lease, man. Lease agreements. You about you about to take it to like a legal, like a legal man or something, it's like a specialist, and read over that contract and make sure that everything is legit, everything is good to go, everything makes sense. Because you definitely don't get ripped off. You don't want to get, you know, get fucked over and shit. So, but um, and and some some of these leases are, are not walk away. Some some of these lease purchases programs they not walk away leases. So you'd be stuck with that shit. So do not, do not get stuck in a lease, a fucking three or four year lease, and you're just struggling, and and then you're gonna go into debt, and then you're gonna be like fucking selling cheeseburgers on the corner and shit. I got time for that shit, bro. You holding a sign and shit, you know, work for food and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful, dog. Like you gotta protect yourself out here, and just be smart. Like do do hella research before you make these decisions, like. You know how much research I did to find like the, like the like like the number one trucking company to be with. Like, we're well, not the number one company, but I mean, I I did I did a lot of research on Flatbed. It said Flatbed pays the most, uh, basically out of all the companies, like straight out the gate. Cause driving, you don't get no additional money for nothing. Like, I mean, of course you get late. I mean, I mean, it's like all the other companies. I mean. You know, like layover pay, you get you get that for flatbed, drive in, reefer, it's nothing special, you know what I'm saying? Flatbed you get tarp pay, which is additional money, you know what I'm saying? So anything that has additional income coming in with it, that's the one I'm gonna pick. <clears throat> most time flatbed pays the most too. I mean reefer pays kinda good too, but I don't know. I just pick flatbed. Flatbed is really good for me. I like flatbed and then hold, like later down the line I might go to step deck and then go from step deck to oversize. So yeah, step that's next step. That's the next step. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful. These lease programs, man, I don't know, they're sketchy. They're sketchy.
I don't like them. <laughs> Financing is the way to go. That's the way to go, bro. Finance is the way to go. All right. But y'all take it easy. And I just want to um, talk to y'all about this video. I mean, I want to talk to y'all about this subject. Leasing versus financing. But, um, yeah. I'm still sitting and working Walmart right now. <laughs> but uh, y'all take it easy. And God bless y'all. Peace.